and a pleasant good Friday morning. It's the 15th day of July. Well, it's it's going to warm up this weekend. It's going to be in the mid to upper 80s across town. Some places will hit 90, but I know the valleys are going to be toasty with temperatures well into the 90s to near 100 degrees. Yeah, the valleys are always 10 degrees warmer than it is across the across the coastal basin. And the beaches are always going to be nice as usual because they still get the marine layer while the inland areas have non-existent marine layer. And well, the freeway series is tonight and tomorrow between the Angels and the Dodgers. Meanwhile, the Dodgers had the best record in the National League. As the All-Star break is just a few days away. And yeah, the NBA Summer League is gonna come down to the end too because all 30 teams participated in Vegas. Meanwhile, the Sacramento Kings won the California Classic while the uh, Memphis Grizzlies won the uh, Salt Lake City Classic. But yeah, the NBA Summer League is winding down this weekend. And um, well, Kershaw against Sandoval tonight, so a couple of lefties and Urias is gonna pitch tomorrow. So well, we'll try to get to 60 wins. Meanwhile, the Angels are, are going in the wrong direction. Yeah, they're likely going to lose like 85 to 90 games this year, while the Dodgers are on pace to win about at least 100 games, so about 105. Yeah. Well, and of course, it is a lost season for the Halos. and Yeah, well, actually, the Brewers beat the Giants last night, so that's good news. And with the Padres losing and the Dodgers winning, we, we increase our lead. And hopefully we'll have a 10 game lead by the All-Star break. Yeah, let's just keep winning and let's hope that the Giants and Padres keep losing. And also, uh, I hope the Astros keep losing too, but it's I don't think it's gonna happen, but I'm sure they'll lose in the playoffs. I would love to see the Astros lose to the New York Yankees in the American League Championship Series and have the Dodgers either beat the Braves or the Mets for the National League championship series so we can have a true cro cross-country classic the transcontinental classic between the Dodgers and Yankees come October yeah I'm sure TV ratings are gonna be high that's what we want Dodgers Yankees this year and uh, hopefully next year it'll be the Lakers back in it but they still have a lot of rebuilding to do but the Clippers look scary they might even take over the West, maybe. We know that the Golden State Warriors are the defending NBA champions, but nothing's e nothing comes easy in terms of repeating. Because I know the Warriors will probably be in the postseason next year too, but the Warriors, of course, lost a few key players. You know, they lost Otto Porter, they lost Gary Payton and Damian Lee, and the guy that came to the Lakers, yeah, but um, at least they re-signed Kevon Looney, and of course they got Green and Thompson and Curry as usual. Yeah, the Celtics, the same thing with Tatum and Brown and Al Horford. But I hope that the Celtics don't make it back to the finals next year, though at least, you know. Because you have, well, DeAndre Ayton is looking to sign a long-term deal with the Pacers, but Phoenix is still in the mix, and... Yeah, it's going to be a busy NBA summer and the off season. Well, happy birthday is going out to uh, Damian Lillard of the Portland Trail Blazers. Also, a happy birthday to um, Mike Shannon and to James Baldwin. And also to John Ireland, who is the Lakers radio play-by-play -play guy who teams up with Michael Thompson. Um... Well, meanwhile, uh, have a good rest of your Friday. I'll catch you all later. All right, let's go Dodgers, huh? All right, go Brewers and and also uh, go A's because they're playing Houston. All right, amen.